welcome back to Living 757. Two things which make pretty much anyone happy are food and art, but what happens when you combine the two? Um, we have some stuff here with us today that combines both of them. And I don't know about y'all, but charcuterie makes me really happy. Yes, and that's the reason why we moved to our kitchens because we're gonna be playing. But first of all, I wanna just show this beautiful box of real calm that as she sent all of us, Quincy and Ashley and myself, and I wanna say thank you so much. This is a really nice box, gift box that you can order online yeah. and give a gift, you know, for your friends and for your loved ones. Yes, so we really wanna thank Brie Torres. She is the reason we're doing this segment today. Um, she grew up loving food and food was her love language. And she said around the holidays and just all the time, her and her family used to kind of congregate around food. And that's kind of what drove her to start the Honey Brie Co, which is a local charcuterie company. And I love that Ashley, because look, we can see right now, uh, this is, one of them, but uh, she has so many options on her website that I, especially for this holiday season, that uh, you can get and buy. Um, they also have pre-orders for Christmas, so uh, you have to go and check it out. And look at that. Oh my God, so deli. I can't wait. <laughs> Amazing. And as someone who has ordered from her before, her stuff is so legit. Basically, you go on, you pick what size board you want, and then she has drop down menus. What kind of cheese do you want for your first cheese? What kind of cheese for your second cheese? What kind of meats do you want? And then she puts it all together in a beautiful charcuterie board like you're seeing here, and then she delivers it to you if you live in Virginia Beach. If you live in one of the other cities, you have to arrange to meet her somewhere. Yes, okay. you might have to contact her and find out if she also sent uh, out of Virginia, but uh, this is amazing, Ashley. And we have it here in Virginia. So for all Hampton Roads, this is a great, great idea. But what we have to do now, guys, so I'm gonna open this amazing box just to show you how okay. nice she sends everything, uh, you know, on the side, everything was packed. Of course, we need to unpack it now. And this is amazing. Like a Pretty. fresh, each one of us have a box that she provided us that looks exactly like Patricia's. And what we're gonna do is we're going to try to mimic one of her gorgeous boards. Actually, the one you just saw, this one. That one. So we're all gonna tilt our cameras down a little bit. So you can see what we're doing. And see. we're gonna try to mimic what is on the screen. Um, Quincy, what are you doing? Are you ready for this? Because- um, I don't know if I'm ready. <laughs> Um, I just have a paddle board. You are, so okay, me. first of all, you already have your board in your hands. And Ashley and myself, we not even started. Come on, no. Well, I didn't know that we started yet. Okay, well, I'm just doing the best I can to get prepared because I always lose. So this is not a competition, <laughs> right? So originally, Bree was going to come on and she was going to teach us how to do this, but she is having some connection issues. So now you get to see us try to do what she does and why you should call her and not us for your charcuterie needs. Okay, well, check this out. Okay. I'm not going to make it look like that. I'm going to put my own spin on it. So, okay, no. I'm going to try to copy it. Yeah, I'm going to yeah. copy it. Um, okay. The idea is to make it the same as the picture, Quincy. What are you talking about? John, okay. my mouth is watering too. It's taking everything in me to keep yeah. talking and not eat. <laughs> right, right. So well, this what is you so hard to do, not eat. Well, what you do is you eat off camera like this. So on camera. Y'all tattling on yourselves right now. Um, okay. I'm like trying to go. Ah, I went to all right. Okay. I, I will say that uh, this is really nice. So how are you guys doing? I'm trying to right. <laughs> bad. I just want to eat everything. All right. Okay. Yes, right? Yes. All right. So I got so hey, make sure to so watch. Ashley, you, you know her a little more than, than we know her. And, and she have um online, right? She sells all this online. Yes. So we yeah. don't you go to her website, you can kind of customize your boards like whatever kind of board you want or whatever kind of board you need for that occasion, that way. Now she folds them all pretty. I don't really know how to do that. So I'm just gonna. Yeah, yeah I don't know how I'm gonna do my yeah. either. Yeah, that's but... really good, Ash. Really? Yes. 
Hey. Yeah, so how is that picture? Yeah. Okay. So, I'm trying to. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm show. Oh wow, yeah, I'm not even. See, I can't mess with the cheese like that. Uh, mm. Lactose, okay. Ah. <laughs> uh -huh. So, um, so what I'll do is I'll show you what I've done so far. Uh, Can I see the picture? I'm lost. Can I see the picture again? Uh, yeah. See, that's what that I've done so far. Really. Yeah. So you know, and I've eaten a piece of a few pieces of salami. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Break the cheese. Okay, uh, cool. All right, now, this is um, awesome. This is a great idea for your parties now on the holidays. You know, just come up with this box, and I know your friends, they're gonna love you. Yes, all right. Well, I think I'm doing okay. <laughs> yep, but I think so too. Yep, well, I've already shown you. Actually, mine, you so, are with one. Um, I think, I think mine looks great. Um, and and that's because I did it. <laughs> so, ladies, I don't know why y'all are taking so long to put your little board. Oh my gosh, like Quincy, stop! Oh my gosh. Okay. okay. That How much time fun. we have? That was so much fun. I cannot wait to eat this. <laughs> but it is so important to shop local and small businesses this holiday season more than ever. And the Smithfield Farmers Market has lots of options to do just that. Let's take a look. Smithfield Farmers Market actually started back in around 2001. It officially started 2002 uh, for its first official market season. So we've been here 18 years and we've run as a mid-size to larger market. Uh, we are 100% locally homegrown, handmade and homemade. So all of our vendors make their products or grow their products um, locally within 100 miles of Smithfield, Virginia. We have been very fortunate this year. Um, back in April, we were shut down for the whole month and it took a, a lot of convincing. Uh, we spaced everybody out, got 10 feet in between each vendor, encouraged, highly encouraged PPE, and uh, it has worked. It's been very successful. And we just kind of, you know, we put hand washing stations and hand sanitizer throughout the market and just try to do our best. We actually have adhered to the phase two even when everybody's been phase three for months to give everybody a better, safer place to go. And so I think that's a big reason why we are experiencing a lot of traffic is because people know that we've enforced that and adhered to that and stayed in that place so we could be safer amongst each other. I think it's important that we're able to do it safely because we're still actually providing um, fresh produce and, and food um, to our community. So it's important for us to be able to continue to offer those items even through the pandemic. So our priority is our farm vendors and our food vendors. We've been running with 36 spaces pretty much for the whole year. We just recently added a couple more spaces to give us a little bit of wiggle room. So we're at 38 spaces right now for vendors. And we've been full for a while now. So our family right now participates in about six farmers market and we love the, the Smithfield farmers market the best. The atmosphere is great, everyone is friendly. So we support each other, all of the vendors come around and purchase items from each other. So right now we're pulling collards and kale, uh, cauliflower, cabbage, and things of that nature. Um, so people love the uh, curly kale and the um, collard green, so that, that's our, our best selling items. We know it's more about community and working together. Um, there's plenty of people around here to support our markets. So we collaborate, we you know kind of give each other ideas. Honestly, we have authentic products, authentic people. These guys and gals are legitimate and they are authentic. They do make it, they do grow it, they do sow it. We invite all of Coastal Virginia to come out and see us here at Smithfield Farmers Market. We're out here every Saturday morning from 9 to 12.30 through December 19th. It's a wonderful place to be and it's a wonderful place to live. We'll see you at the market.
Mm. That was a really nice but I want to show you going back to the food. I made a flower. I don't know if you can see it. Look. Oh wow. You see it? Nice. Yours it looks so pretty. Yeah, right? Oh wow. I don't know you right. can see it really. You want to see like what I did? I'm trying to show you but Yeah. Yeah, well, I know Ashley's already digging in and yours look full. <laughs> Mine looks like, you know, it's malnourished, but that's okay. Because uh, I know <laughs> I know in this segment, we're, we've we been talking food and Smithfield is known for its ham. But guess what else we're known for in 757? We're known for our talent. And up next, you don't want to miss who's coming up. All right, our good friend stopping by. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you, Bree. Mm.